to get going Gotta catch those runners taking off like a Boeing If the volume spikes, then it's time to trade Mighty 90 setting up, it's time to get paid Dr. Chad on the mic, time to get focused We don't need any indicator, hocus pocus It's all about the price, just watch it move Manage your risks so you don't lose First hour of trading is all we need Focus on the patience and forget about greed What is up, everyone? Happy Monday, September 23rd, 2024. Market's up a little bit today. Dow futures up 54, and NASDAQ futures up 48, S&P futures up 12. VIX also up, though, up over 1% at uh, 16.34. So it's a little odd. Hope everyone had a great weekend. Starting to see some earnings popping up as we get closer to October. But nothing to worry about. Well, MU is September 25th. So that's Wednesday, but nothing really else this week. VIX is up, so I plan on trading my one DTE after the bell rings. I'm going to be a little more patient on my trades. Last week, I was really trying to capture some continuation runners right out, after, out of the gates on the second uh, volume, after the second volume bar, and did not work out well. I was 0-9. So although you can get into some good continuation runners that way, I'm going to be a little more patient. At least that's my goal for this week. Microsoft, Apple in the red. Everything else pretty much in the green or flat. Morning, JG. Morning, Ken. <laughs> There is the bell. So bear with me as I look at my one DTE for the day. SP just under ten.
All right, got filled on my one DTE, so I will post it in my channel. Man, the calls were really small in relation to the puts. I guess I'll still try to manage the whole iron condor, although the long calls were only a dime. Just have to keep keep an eye on it. My OCO order on the entire iron condor. So 25% profit target would be six oh five. And the stop would be sixteen oh five. All right, got that in. Amazon, Roku, Apple, Microsoft, all in the red. Tesla up 3%, Meta up a percent. DKNG up 2%, Baidu up 2%, Bob up a little under 2 Boeing in the red, AMD in the red. Our second bar now. Volume seems like it's pretty light. Does not appear like we're going to get to any volume runners.
One GTE, the one GTE is up eight percent already. Tesla about halfway there, I guess. See, this is this is where I like that early continuation when it pulls back to a key level like this. Little pivot here. Yeah, I have, I have MU on my list. There's nothing nothing stands out about it. Volume bar is not even halfway there, so it's not going to be a volume runner. Baidu, now that's a little... That looks like it might get there. I do's got a pretty tight range, but volume bars. It's about as big as the first. That's about it. See if we get a little pullback in Baidu. Today we trade the four GT each option chain. Let's see if Baidu pulls back to that little pivot. Straight up for now. All right, we'll look for some mighty 90s. <clears throat> Bye, you. I'll put an order in it like buck twenty five and see if it comes down and hits me. That is on the eighty eight calls. Eighty eight calls, buck twenty five, see if it comes down. May adjust it to a buck thirty. Let's see, getting close to it. Wow, one DTE is up fifteen percent. I might have to lower my profit target there.
raise that to a buck thirty for Baidu. Get filled. Filled at a buck thirty one in Baidu, in that volume runner. So I would close half at a buck forty five. I do on my screen here. Yeah, Disney looks like it got a downside volume runner and hasn't hasn't bounced. Also really tight range in Disney. So in Baidu, you want to see it hold above this price point where this volume, big volume bar was. Our exit would be below that. One DT is up 20%, all right? I'm going to lower that um, profit target a little bit. Holy cow. I'll take half of it off at 40%. Yeah, that's, that's what you want to see in a 1DTE. Yeah, I'm, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to lower my profit. I lowered it to take half off at 40, which is really where I, when I usually close it. I'll keep an eye on it, though. I mean, things start to go a little wacky. I may just get out of half. It's like price in the S&P just dropped. Yeah, my darn Netflix volume bars don't they don't look like the others for some reason. It makes it difficult. But yeah, it does look like it's a mighty 90.
Need a push up to highs of day? Or Baidu? Disney not pushing up, so I wouldn't be surprised if it goes down. It's um it just hasn't bounced any really though. Bill, by you, close half at a dollar forty five. Close a quarter of my buy to you at a buck sixty. Yeah, I already hit twenty five percent at at uh, one DTE. Vessel staying strong. Yeah, Netflix definitely a volume runner to the upside now. Let's see if it pulls back. It's a five point push there on Netflix. This will push up and bite you. Again, pretty tight range from bite you. That's why I haven't hit my second profit target yet, but I'm getting close. Netflix maybe trying to pull back a little bit. Netflix would trade the seven ten calls. Ooh, eighty five cents wide. There we go. It's kind of tightened up a little bit. See if it'll come down to 850 and fill me. 710 calls. See if it'll fill me at 850. Netflix uh, filled at eight forty five in Netflix. See, so, and we get rid of half at. Trying to do the math in my head here. Nine thirty.
I do coming down. You didn't stay up. Well, mighty ninety short and Boeing. Build at nine thirty five to close half my Netflix. Ah, Boeing coming down, darn it. I couldn't I couldn't get there in time. Well, we'll let that go. Close another Netflix at ten twenty. Put that order in. All right, so Baidu, yeah, I wanted to stay above that pivot. That's nice looking Mighty 90 in terms of volume in Boeing. Yeah, it had a little decent price push up too. I need Netflix to rip to highs of day. I need Baidu to rip through highs of day. And that was really close to getting out of a quarter of my I'm gonna order in uh, my Baidu. I have an order in a dollar sixty, and I saw the marks, the mark um, price at a buck sixty, and it never filled. It was a bummer. Yeah, Boeing. Boeing would have been a nice little mighty ninety short there. I just I couldn't get in in time. It's getting two red bars right now. Meta up through highs of day. All time highs, in Meta. NVIDIA, not really. It hasn't participated much in a big push up since uh, that Fed rate cut announcement. It hasn't pushed like Meta and Tesla have. Tesla's up another almost nine points today. Netflix up nine points, Meta up nine, almost 10 points. So, NVIDIA, not, not the strong guy like it. we're used to it being. All right, Baidu, time to take off.
S and P's been pretty choppy. Meta getting maybe a little mighty ninety short here. The then I would trade the five seventy puts. Bill at seven fifty five. So jumped in a meta there at seven fifty five. Mighty ninety short. I would close half. Wait a second. What happened there? I only got filled on two of my contracts. Wait. Oh, no, I didn't. My bad. I was looking at Netflix. So I would close half at 830. Oh boy, Netflix kind of pulled back, hasn't it? Aren't it? Stay up, Netflix. Stay up. Got out of half my Netflix, at least. I need to see two consecutive red bars out of Meta. Baidu not pushing through highs. Meta pushes up, it might give me the opportunity to add. See where it's at. I would add somewhere around 680, probably. I got an order to add a couple contracts at 680 in Meta. Netflix almost got the highs of day. Let's 
So let's not hit my second profit target. No, nah, I mean, all time highs don't build at 680 to close. I'm sorry to add in meta, but that doesn't really scare me at all. Well, for these strategies. So I would close half my meta at 750 now. And Netflix pushed up, but man, it just it didn't it couldn't hit my couldn't hit my other profit target, darn it. And now, now Netflix coming back down. Shucks. No, Meta's a mighty 90 short. Netflix and Netflix just kind of stopped moving. So I've ordered a buck sixty to close the quarter of Baidu, ten twenty to close the quarter of Netflix, and seven fifty to close half of Meta. I need two red volume bars out of Meta. Definitely need to see something out of Baidu here quickly because it's just in such a tight range. Roku down through lows of day. Um, Netflix, I'm on the 710 calls. Yeah, Netflix was a volume runner. Yeah, it looks like um, Baidu is going to get a mighty 90 short. So, yeah, that's a good question. Jersey T. I'll just kind of watch price action and see what it does, but yeah, that that's that's something to definitely consider. I mean, as long as it keeps pushing up, but yeah. I hate to see it get a big pullback because of a mighty 90 short.
Heck, it might get a big volume bar. Another big volume bar, actually. I mean, it's got a minute and a half left. One DTE is up 31% already. S&P just went to highs of day. Tesla through highs of day. Meta, I thought was going to give us our first red bar, but it is flipped green for the moment. And yeah, it looks like it's just going to be a mighty 90 short and but and bite you. So yeah, I'm going to go ahead and just close out my bite you. And just take my profit. Build it a buck fifty three. Close by you. So just took profit there. It, it. I mean that that's a that's a really good looking ninety ninety short. I mean that's the great volume separation now. It might just continue to blast upward. Who knows? But I had a nice profit there, so I didn't. I didn't want to lose it if it pushed down. Looks like it's still going up. So did get one red bar out of Meta. Yeah, Netflix having trouble getting it, getting past highs of day as well. For the moment, anyway. I'll probably get out of my meta here. It's um, it's setting up to maybe be a little upside continuation where it's got to push up, a little pause. And so it would be really awesome if it just gave us two red bars here and then we can just get out. But yeah, it's kind of setting up. Now, that, a lot can change in the next three minutes. This is this is what you look for in a continuation runner. Push up, a little pause, or maybe two to three part bar pullback, and then continue up. Bayou went to highs of day. Shucks. Oh well, had a nice, nice profit in Bayou, three hundred sixty.
about 15 cents away from closing half my my meta. Here we go. Built at 755 to close half my meta. So great ad there. All right, I'm going to get out of my meta. This is giving me two consecutive red bars out at 750. So turn that from a loser into a winner thanks to an ad. Guess I could have waited a little bit. Well, new bar in 15 minutes, seconds. So now it's good. Get out. Well, Mighty 90 Long and NVIDIA. NVIDIA is not moving, though. I mean, it's just, it's in a, it's in a less than a point range, about one point range, actually. Yep. Very choppy so far. Which is good for the one DTE. So Netflix, man, I was had a good old profit. Netflix has been kind of taken away by Theta Decay, and I mean it has not moved for twenty five minutes. I mean we're talking about seven hundred dollars stock. Yeah, SPX pretty choppy, and in fact, probably would be good to enter really at any time right now. I mean, honestly, it's not shown that it wants to push. It's been in about a 14-point range since it opened. I'm going to take a look at what the... For SPX, what the how wide the short strikes would be right now? About forty five fifty wide. Yeah, I think I'm gonna go ahead and jump in one here. And Baidu's still going up. I'm going to get out of my Netflix. Call it a day there. It's eating my profits. Build at 865 to get out of Netflix. Just didn't 
push up like I wanted it to. I can't I can't get filled on my order here. So my one my zero DTE, so I'm gonna cancel that. Give it a second. And Baidu, even with that mighty 90, it's still pushing up. Well, I don't have anything else, so I'm going to focus. start focusing on TLC. It looks like S&P is trying to get to highs of day, so maybe I will wait here just a second, see what it does, but it's been in a pretty tight range. Hopefully that continues. I will see everybody during power hour. Have a good one. Peace.